And now, direct from Las Vegas, it's Football Forecast Weekly, starring Dennis Tobler, with special guest Buzz Daly, featuring reports from Antigua, Curacao, and Costa Rica. And now, the hottest football show on the air, Football Forecast Weekly. Today's special guest star is Rod Myers. And now our host, Dennis Tobler. Welcome again, everyone, to another edition of Football Forecast Weekly. It's great to be back with you. Now that the college regular season has wound down and we're headed towards the bowl games and the NFL are headed towards the playoffs, it's time for us to take a close look at what's going on in college and pro football. And what better way to do that than to bring on the two best experts in Las Vegas, Rod Myers and Buzz Daly. Rod Myers has been with us every week so far and he's by far the best analyst I've ever had on the show in 13 years. That takes to account, in account all the loudmouth touts that you read about in the newspapers. They've made their rounds on my show at one time or another and I can assure you the information you get now is top notch. And later on, we'll have Buzz Daly. He and I are going to discuss the offshore industry, as well as give you some more insights for the bowl games and the Super Bowl. So without further ado, I want to bring you all up to date. We're back. Rod Myers is here with me. Rod, welcome to the show. Good Glad to, be here. to have you back again. And we're going to start taking a look at the Super Bowl now. As the pros wind down, it's time for us to take a look at the, some advantages you may get, some teams that are playing very well at the current time. First off, I'm going to take a look and give you a gander at my matchup for the Super Bowl. I have two selections that are going to surprise you, but you'll remember I was the guy that told you earlier in the year that the St. Louis Rams would not make the Super Bowl. My two selections to end up in this big game in the end of January are the Denver Broncos and the New York Giants. You heard me correctly. The Denver Broncos are playing very well right now, and they seem to have the only team that has the offensive fire, firepower to win a game. In other words, they can win it on offense. Take the other side of the coin, defense, and who do you have? You've got the New York Giants from the NFC. Defense, baby, defense. That's all they can show you, but it may be enough to get them to the big game. So my picks are Denver and the New York Giants. Now let's turn to Rod Myers and get his take on the big game. Well, when uh, Dennis gave me this assignment, I was looking long and hard on both AFC and NFC, and I could co come up with only two teams that even jumped out at me immediately. That was the Tennessee Titans and the Minnesota Vikings. I think let's start the AFC here. The uh, Tennessee Titans are struggling a little bit here in the latter part of the season. They opened up with a, uh, the first game with a loss. They went on an eight-game winning streak before losing to Baltimore. Uh, they struggled um, every other week since then. They struggled against Philadelphia. But I think that once Jeff Fisher gets the offensive motion going, Tennessee will definitely run roughshod over any opponent in the AFC. I think Tennessee makes a return trip. That is uh, the way Jeff Fisher likes to coach. The uh, Titans are really tough come playoff time. Uh, Jacksonville is not uh, in, the, in the picture anymore. I think once the uh, Ravens and the Titans face off again, possibly in the playoffs, there will be a revenge factor on Tennessee's side. So I think Tennessee will come out on the edge. I don't think Denver or anyone in the AFC East with Indianapolis or uh, the Jets or Buffalo or Miami can uh, handle Tennessee right now. I think the Titans are the best team in the AFC, so I will look for them to come back in to the Super Bowl. Heading over to the NFC, I think the clear-cut choice is the Minnesota Vikings. Dante Culpepper has two great receivers in Chris Carter and Randy Moss. Uh, you, you can't say enough about Dennis Green this year. He's definitely kept the Vikings in a positive motion and heading forward. Uh, the Rams are struggling. The Saints look very tough. I don't think they'll, they'll win their first playoff game, but they're not going to make it into the championship game. I think Tampa Bay will uh, go back to their midseason slump come playoff time. Uh, you know, Washington's losing their new coach. Uh, and also, I tell you right now, Philadelphia Eagles playing tough, but you know what? Cinderella stories only last so long. I think Minnesota is a clear cut choice in the Super Bowl. When these two teams meet, I think you take Minnesota to win the Super Bowl. Well, there you have our selections for this year's Super Bowl. Go ahead and write them down, and we welcome your calls to congratulate us when they make it. I don't know about Rod's picks, but I'm sure mine will be there. <laughs> anyway, it's time to move on down the road. we got to mention our great sponsors on the show tonight. This show is brought to you by 
Dune Sports in San Jose, Costa Rica, one of the finest sports books in the world. Log on to www.dunesports.com. Check them out. The other major sponsor is Planet Pinnacle www.planetpinnacle.com. They're located in Curacao in the Netherlands Antilles. And let me tell you, they're a huge worldwide sports book taking wagers on all types of action. So make sure you check them out. And while we're talking about websites on this portion of the show, my cohort to the right here has a very nice website that we need to tell you about, sportsgamingjournal.com tons of information up there for the bowl games. I'm going to turn it over to you, Rod. Why don't you tell everybody what's on that website and how they can get to it. Well, it's a simple website right now. It's sportsgamingjournal.com. We have undergone a, a recolorization of the website, making the pages shorter, yet more navigable. Right now, we have every single college game from game number one in the Mobile, Alabama go, uh, Bowl to the championship game with Oklahoma and Florida State. So uh, we've got all the stats, the trends for every single game, the matchups. Uh, we do weekly write-ups for the NFL, NHL. We have lots of stats and trends on all sports covered during the season that they're in. And folks, it's all free and it doesn't cost you a dime. Just log on www.sportsgamingjournal.com. Fantastic, Rod. We're going to be back with our selections for the top bowl games, and we will not skirt the issue. We will bring you our selections for the big games, and that's coming up next. And following that, we'll have the great Buzz Daily on, so stay with us. We'll be right back after these messages. Our motto epitomizes what we stand for at Dune Sports. We're bigger because we see the big picture. With over 100 years combined experience, Dunes is your best bet. You can find our lines on the Don Best Feed, the premier line service. We're better with better customer service, better wagering options, better marketing, and better technology. Try our live line feed to your web cell phones, the newest in cutting edge technology, live lines, live scores, all to your cell phone. We're faster with seven day a week payouts, same day Western Union, and easy wagering options, plus technical assistance unequaled in the industry. We have more wagering options, wager online, over the phone, and soon directly over your web cell phone, plus customer service second to none. Call now, Dune Sports, 1-877-600-9116. Set up your account today. Call now and get in the game. Hi there, sports fans. Ack is back to remind you that the explosion of cyberspace sports has changed the way America experiences sports. That's why you'll be getting 21st century technology right here at Football Forecast. Hey, I can remember when a website was that thing in the upper corner of my bedroom. But now you can keep up with the latest football forecast at our website, www.footballforecast.com. So get your free picks off our internet. More later when Ack is back. Hut one, hut two, hike, touchdown, Packers win! Hey, football fans, after the long wait, the great game is back. If you love football and you like wagering on sports, if you like free contests where you can win up to $250,000, if you like the best parlay and teaser odds in the world, then Pinnacle Sports Worldwide is the place for you. Members get free entry into weekly contests with prizes up to $100,000 and a chance at the Super Bowl Bonanza where you can win a quarter of a million. So if you're ready to start playing with a licensed sports book where the fun and free contests never stop, if you like 105 on football, call Pinnacle Sports today at 1-800-484-3333. That's 800-484-3333. Or get online at planetpinnacle.com. That's planetpinnacle.com and play today. Well, welcome back, everyone. I want to urge you once again to make sure you get a hold of our sponsors. They have some great bonus programs out there. And with the college bowl games coming up, you want to take advantage of every option you can get when it comes to playing these games. All right, it's our time to take a look at the big games, and we're not going to shirk our responsibility here on the show. We're going to take a look at the top matchups, the battle for number one. First off, it's the Sugar Bowl. Florida against Miami of Florida. Miami of Florida is a five-and-a-half point favorite, and this will be a battle. Uh, I think both teams are disappointed they're in this bowl game. However, Miami can get out with a co-national championship with a win here. Five-and-a-half point favorite over their arch rival. Rod, take it away. 
Well, I think this is going to be one tough game here that you're going to see a tremendous amount of offense on both sides. Both teams are disappointed to be in this bowl game right now, and I think for the most part, Florida wants this game a lot worse than Miami does. Miami played a lot of uh, great football down the stretch, made a big, huge factor uh, in the BCS standings. Florida, you know, Spurrier's team doesn't really have the uh, guts or integrity, I could tell, down the stretch. Had a few quarterback problems, definitely some play-calling problems towards the end. But, you know, Spurrier loves the bowl season. He has... Uh, you know, he has a great record in, in the bowl games. He wants this one. I think Florida plus the five and a half. Uh, they showed a tremendous heart beating Auburn twice during the season, winning the SEC title game, getting it to, getting the job done in the Sugar Bowl. I think that the offense of Miami uh, will struggle a little bit here. The running game will be hard for Florida to stop. But I think defensively, the Canes will be under pressure all day long. They're definitely going to be under fire with a passing attack from Florida. I like the Florida Gators plus a five and a half in the Nokia Sugar Bowl in New Orleans, Louisiana. This is going to be a game that you do not want to miss. Well, I tend to agree on both subjects, Rod. I believe this will be a very high-scoring game, and I can't see Florida being a five-and-a-half-point underdog here. They can simply throw the ball too well, and their last win against Auburn was really a sight to behold. I think they have really grown as a team and their talent especially a quarterback is starting to merge together with the rest of the unit and i think they're going to be awful tough to beat i might go so far as to say to take florida to upset miami and quash any hopes of a co-national championship all right the second big game in the bowl season is the orange bowl of course from miami florida this one finds number one oklahoma playing the homestanding Florida State crowd. I say homestanding. They've played enough in the Orange Bowl. It's like a home game for the Seminoles. The Seminoles are huge, 11 and a half point favorites over the, un the only undefeated team in college ball, Oklahoma. Rod, give me the winner in this one. Well, this is gonna be another case of can Florida State uh, play the role of giant killer. Last year, as you know, in the national title game, they played at Virginia Tech, who came in unbeaten and ruined Frank Beamer's perfect season by winning a national title. However, taking a look at what Oklahoma does, they struggled against in-state rival Oklahoma State two weeks ago. They showed a lot of heart and a lot of composure in their Big 12 title game win over Kansas State, 27 to 24. I think the odds makers are wrong in this game. I think that Oklahoma is not getting the respect, and I'll tell you why. They have not had a national title run in probably 20 years. And I guarantee you right now that it's because of the fact that Florida State, once again, in the last five years, have found themselves in the title game. The experience factor is why the odds are so high. But folks, do not count out Oklahoma's passing attack. The greatest quarterback who came out of junior college right now heading up the Sooner offense is blistering pass defenses from coast to coast, north and south, in the college football rankings. And I'll tell you right now, Florida State, they got a great defense. They've got a great offense with Chris Winkie. But I guarantee you, they have not faced a passing attack like Oklahoma has. The Sooners will get a backdoor cover in this contest. They may not win. They in Florida State may break another heart uh, or another perfect losing streak. But right now, I think that if Florida State wins this game outright, Oklahoma will get the backdoor cover simply because they've got a great passing offense. Ditto again. I have to agree with you, Rod. I love Oklahoma plus 11 and a half in this matchup. They've only went undefeated in the toughest conference in the United States. That's right, the toughest conference. And they have beaten the likes of Nebraska and Kansas State twice. I don't know how anyone thinks Florida State's going to run roughshod over this crew. Their defense is fantastic, and though it's often overlooked by their high-powered offense, they'll be able to shut down Florida State. They have as much speed, they have as much bulk, and they have as much talent. Take Oklahoma here, and if you really want to make a score, bet Oklahoma on the money line, too. So there you have it, consensus picks from both Rod and I on these big bowl games. Write them down and remember where you heard them. Florida in the Sugar Bowl, and it's uh, Oklahoma plus the 11 and a half in the Orange Bowl. We're going to be right back after these messages with our bowl game selection of the year. Don't miss that. We'll be right back in one moment.
With all the talk of internet gaming going on, are you being left in the dark? Do you still think that online casinos and sports books aren't as much fun as the real thing? Then log on to islandcasino.com and see for yourself how much fun online gaming can be. With all the casino games you love, from blackjack to roulette to video poker and more, islandcasino.com brings them all to you in the comfort of your own home. Looking to get some action down this weekend? Got a hot tip for you. Islandcasino.com will take your bet for as little as $1 over the internet. Call them now at 1-800-511-4844. That's 1-800-511-4844. And receive up to a 30% bonus on your initial deposit. Fast and easy payouts, no minimum requirements, no fees for deposits. At islandcasino.com, just having an account makes you a winner. Welcome back, everyone. Our pick of the week this week, we're going to go two for one for you. We're each going to give you our top bowl game selection. Taking a look at my top bowl game selection this year, I'm going to take a look at the Notre Dame-Oregon State matchup. Oregon State is a three-point favorite in this matchup, and I love Notre Dame. They're simply bigger, stronger, and faster than Oregon State. Oregon State's been playing in the weak conference, and that conference will show how weak it is during the bowl season, believe me. Take Notre Dame plus the points as my best college bowl game selection. Now let's turn to the resident expert on the show, Rod Myers. Rod, it's your turn. Give us your top pick. Well, I'm going to stay with the Florida theme that we've got going on in the show here, and I'm hate taking us down to the Gator Bowl with Virginia Tech and Clemson. And I like Frank Beamer's Virginia Tech Hokies minus a seven in this contest, simple for the fact that redemption is the key to this game. They uh, lost the national title last year. They're going to come back and win this ball game, win it big this year. Michael Vick out with a uh, early season, a midseason ankle injury is coming back. He'll be ready to play during this ball game. Clemson struggled tremendously down the road against NC State and Maryland. I think Virginia Tech in a romp in this game. Lay, take Virginia Tech, lay the seven in this contest in the Gator Bowl. Take the Hokies. There you have it. Our two best bets for the pick of the week this week. We'll be right back with Buzz Daly, so stay with us for more action. Hut one, hut two, hike. Touchdown, Packers win! Hey, football fans. After the long wait, the great game is back. If you love football and you like wagering on sports, if you like free contests where you can win up to $250,000, if you like the best parlay and teaser odds in the world, then Pinnacle Sports Worldwide is the place for you. Members get free entry into weekly contests with prizes up to $100,000 and a chance at the Super Bowl Bonanza where you can win a quarter of a million. So if you're ready to start playing with a licensed sports book where the fun and free contests never stop, if you like 105 on football, call Pinnacle Sports today at 1-800-484-3333. That's 800-484-3333. Or get online at planetpinnacle.com. That's planetpinnacle.com and play today. Our motto epitomizes what we stand for at Dune Sports. We're bigger because we see the big picture. With over 100 years combined experience, Dunes is your best bet. You can find our lines on the Don Best Feed, the premier line service. We're better with better customer service, better wagering options, better marketing, and better technology. Try our live line feed to your web cell phones, the newest in cutting edge technology, live lines, live scores, all to your cell phone. We're faster with seven day a week payouts, same day Western Union, and easy wagering options, plus technical assistance unequal in the industry. We have more wagering options, wager online, over the phone, and soon directly over your web cell phone, plus customer service second to none. Call now, Dune Sports, 1-877-600-9116. Set up your count today. Call now and get in the game. SportsBet.com presents Sports Scene with Buzz Daly, publisher of Player's Choice, the nation's leading gaming journal, appearing each week exclusively right here on Football Forecast Weekly. Welcome back, everyone. It's now the time of the show to bring on Buzz Daly. 
I want to remind every one of you out there, first of all, before we get into some information from Buzz, that Buzz belongs to a unique group of uh, people here in Las Vegas and in the gaming industry that produces a poll called the Odds Makers Poll. Now, what they do is they vote on the college teams around the country from the gaming aspect of who the most powerful teams are. It's called, called the Odds Makers Poll, similar to the AP Poll. However, I can tell you the Odds Maker Poll is more highly sought after than a bunch of newspaper writers' opinions. So we're very lucky today to have Buzz Daly on the show, and I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to bring him right on. Buzz, thank you very much for being here. It's a pleasure to have you on. Well, thanks, Dennis. I'm glad to be here. And uh, just a quick thing about that Oddsmaker poll. Is it, it, it has a gaming perspective. Uh, we, we, we make our choices based on how strong the teams are for, for betters. Uh, we don't think about the, uh, the things that the, uh, uh, the writers or the coaches think about when they do their voting. And, that's our perspective on the show. We're talking to betters. If you're not a better, you're probably not watching the show. Well, that's exactly right. And believe me, that is a sought-after opinion. I am the first one to look it up in the local newspaper every week when it comes out. Well, Buzz, since you're so well-versed on what's going on in college ball this year, one big question our fans out there surely would like to know from you, and that is, what's your best bet when it comes time for these college bowl games? Surely something's jumped out at you that you've laid all over already. Well, you know, living in Vegas, you can't help but be exposed to everybody who's always looking for value. They're looking for this, they're looking for that. And uh, as a player, it's, it's pretty important that what you do is you look at the whole menu. I mean, the college bowl games, 25 games this year, I think that's a record. Uh, what you want to do is you want to look and say, well, which, which game jumps up and bites me on the nose? Well, there is one that, that got me. And what I'm thinking about is the uh, Inside.com Bowl, which is being played in Tucson. It has uh, Pittsburgh against Iowa State. State is now a one-point favorite. The game opened up even a few offshore books that moved it to one when some early uh, Iowa State money came in. I'm going to go with Iowa State. Uh, throughout the season, they, they showed uh, a lot of heart and a lot of courage. They played in a tough conference. They went eight and three. They lost three games to Nebraska, to Texas A&M, and to Kansas State. Other than that, they were unblemished. Pittsburgh is a nice little team. They haven't been in a bowl game for a few years. I just don't think that they're going to be up and ready for this. Iowa State is going to come out loaded for bear, and Pittsburgh is going to be playing catch up the whole game. And at, at a pick em or a one point game, uh, I, I got to go with uh, Iowa State, big time. Oh, I agree with you, Buzz. I, I, I think this game sticks out. Uh, greatly here. Iowa State should be able to run the ball, control the clock, and even pass when they need to. I think Pitt's outmanned at every position in this particular matchup. Great value in getting this game at a pick. All right, let's uh, move on down the line now. It's time for the uh, Super Bowl action, and we like to ask everybody a few weeks in advance. Everybody knows who's going to be in at mid-January, so uh, let's take a look at uh, who you think is going to come out the winner of this year's Super Bowl. Well, you know, the, the, the NFL got what they were looking for. over After many many years of, of trying for parity they've gotten it and uh, there are no dynasties there are no dominant teams I mean the St. Louis Rams last year a young team a great quarterback they're going to be around for a long time we got a dynasty well the dynasty lasted one year and what we're looking at is uh, the NFC I really am not going to get into the NFC because there's too many teams all named Joe but in the AFC you've got one team that is uh, they look very interesting they they play a lot of defense uh, they have a quarterback who's been a malign quarterback through most of his career now. He's in, a, he's in a situation where he's not taking the heat, and I'm talking about Baltimore and Trent Dilfer, and they don't expect Dilfer to lead them to victory. They just expect him not to screw up, and so far, blissfully, he's been doing just that. Uh, they, they finish out the season. The last four weeks, they have uh, three cupcakes and a bye, so they go to the playoffs uh, in pretty good shape, probably with a little bit of a home field advantage through some of the playoffs. Uh, their defense can stack up with anybody. They've thrown about four shutouts this year. Six games they've had uh, teams under under uh, two digits. Uh, they just know how to get out there and win. And they've been mat uh, uh, they've been maturing as the season goes on. Their offense has been getting smarter and sharper. The play calling has been has been developing with a lot more confidence. Uh, the coaching staff seems to understand the capabilities of the players. And again, Dilfer. Let's face it. He came out of uh, he came out of college. He won a bowl game uh, against Southern Cal his last game. So this is not uh, a kid who doesn't know how to play in a big game. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take Baltimore, and I don't know what the odds are, but uh, that's a team I think has got a decent shot at taking all the marbles. Well, everybody, make sure you write those two games down: Iowa State in college ball, Baltimore to make it to the Super Bowl. Put Buzz Daly's be name beside that. Well, I have to say, Buzz, while I have you on the show, that uh, you and I together have had a very big year. 
We've been to four different countries offshore making television shows and interviewing the bookmakers, and we pretty much have uh, really knocked them dead this year when it comes to exposing the offshore industry. Uh, between you and I, I'd have to say we've done more to expand the offshore industry than any of the other advertising that they could come up with. And uh, before we go, I, I wanted to mention about uh, one of our main sponsors on the show, SportBet.com. Uh, they sponsored your segment all year this year, and it was really a pleasure to have them for a sponsor. They have recently developed new technology, as have all the offshore books. And um, they got uh, live lines coming out to cell phones these days. Uh, shortly, they're going to have to be able to wager back over cell phones like trading stock. Really, the technology and in the industry has really taken off since the entrepreneurs went offshore, hasn't it? Yeah, well, the offshore, incidentally, I don't know whether we, we've either done a lot to help it or to hurt the industry. I don't know what we've done, Dennis. I mean, well, we did get off of four islands, and we got off without the police here coming after us. So in that respect, uh, we're home free. But it's true, the offshore industry, what they've done is uh, they, they've got this entrepreneurial mentality. Uh, they've got pretty deep pockets, and they're unlike Las Vegas, which is in the sports betting doldrums. Offshore is in the cutting edge of everything. And what they're doing is they're spending money for, uh, for anything that's going to make it uh, more, uh, they're going to give them greater ability to deal with the customers. And what they're talking about is customer-friendly software, customer-friendly equipment. And obviously the telephones are one big way that they deal with the customers because everybody's not on the computer. And they also like to take their, their, their larger players and deal with them over the telephone. So if you can go to the beach or if you can go to uh, any place that's, uh, where, where you're not locked into being in your home or your office and still get down on a bet, well, okay, I think now you're talking big time. Well, I agree with you, Buzz, and, and uh, I want to remind everyone once again, be sure you get a hold of SportBet.com. They're offering a 100% post-up bonus for everyone that calls after viewing this show, so make sure you get a hold of them. It's www.SportBet.com, S-P-O-R-T-B-E-T. Dot com. We're going to be back again for another bowl game show later on in the year. Make sure you check us out on these same stations. Until then, good luck. Are you one of the few people who has not tried internet gaming? Are you still stuck going to Las Vegas, Atlantic City, or your local bookie to get some action for the weekend? Then log on to SportBet.com, the industry leader in online sports books and casinos. SportBet.com has been in business for over four years and in that time has established one of the largest client bases in the industry. Opening a new account is quick and easy, taking less than five minutes from start to finish. With an impeccable record for payouts and a bonus program second to none, SportBet.com is the place to play. Call now 1-800-214-1788 and open an account. Call right now and receive a 100% post-up bonus. That's right, a 100% bonus. Call now or log on to SportBet.com. SportBet.com, online gaming just got better. Hi there, sports fans. Ack is back to remind you that the explosion of cyberspace sports has changed the way America experiences sports. That's why you'll be getting 21st century technology right here at Football Forecast. Hey, I can remember when a website was that thing in the upper corner of my bedroom. But now you can keep up with the latest football forecast at our website, www.footballforecast.com. So get your free picks off our internet. More later when Ack is back. Rio International is a legally operating offshore sports book located in the beautiful country of Costa Rica. Rio International has been operating for the past seven years and proudly displays their lines on the world famous Don Best screen. Open a gold or platinum account today and receive an abundance of extras offered such as free sports pagers, one free monthly payout, free monthly plays, plus sign up bonuses for you and your friends. Rio International takes phone action, and they also have a user-friendly internet wagering site. And just listen to these extras. Ties win on teasers. Free half point on Friday wagers. A free half point when playing 10 games or more. So get in the game. You can call now at 1-877-RIO-BETS or check us out on the web at www.betrio.com.